assalamu alaikum students today our topic is related to gravitation and what is actually gravitation gravitation is simply the force of attraction between any two bodies in the universe any two bodies in universe So if you are going to choose any two bodies between this pen and the paper, between the table and the student, between two persons, between two students, between two houses, so that very force of attraction between any two bodies in the universe that is called as the force of gravitation. So there is a law which gives us the magnitude of the force between two forces for that very purpose that law is called as the universal law of gravitation what actually states this universal law of gravitation for that very purpose we will take two bodies or two masses this is body number one and from this body we will take another body which is at a separation some it is having a mass of m it is having a mass of m and their centers are apart at a distance of d or you will say r according to universal law of gravitation the force of attraction it states the force of attraction between any two masses or any two objects or any two bodies is directly proportional to the product of their masses so that is F, the force of attraction between the gravitational force between two bodies is directly proportional to product of the mass of this body and with the second body. This body A, this body B, that is M into M. And furthermore, it states that it is inversely proportional, the, for, uh, the last state is that the force of attraction between any two bodies in the universe is directly proportional to the product of masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them that is if the square of distance between their centers are then you will say it will be 1 by r square this is equation second now combining the two equations what we will get we get f directly proportional to m m and it is divided by r square now, as usually removing proportionality what will we will get we get f equals to g m m over r square where this g is called as universal universal gravitational constant and this law is known as the universal law of gravitation or Newton's law of gravitation why it is called as a universal law the law is called as a universal because it is valid for whether we are having small bodies or larger bodies the law is valid it is valid irrespective of the size shape whatever may be the size and shape of the bodies and it holds always good whether it was this law is valid yesterday it is valid yesterday it is valid today it will be valid tomorrow so this law is known as what universal law of gravitation and this constant g is called as universal gravitational constant and its value is 6.67 into 10 to the raised power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square and this value the value of g doesn't depend upon the medium this value does not depend upon medium so it is independent upon the medium the value of g is independent upon the medium 
and law is simply f directly proportional to the product of masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them and this law is known as universal law of gravitation and it is the value of universal gravitational constant now if we have to define this very g if we are going to define now this very universal gravitational constant so how will you define as we know we know now what f equals to g m m over r square if m equals to m is equal to 1 and r equals to 1 meter then this law becomes as then we will have f equals to g now how you will define this g now g is defined as now g is defined as the force of attraction between two bodies of unit masses it is equal to the force of attraction between two bodies of unit masses separated by a unity distance as this is one this is one and this is one then and only f is equal to g so g is equal to f so g acceleration uh, universal gravitation constant is defined as the force of attraction between two bodies of unit masses separated by a unit distance if you have to talk about the dimensions of g you can calculate dimensions as well and the dimensions of g will be that will be given by this very formula g equals to it will be f r square by m m and the dimensions will be for f it will be m1 l1 t minus 2 for l for r it will be l2 and it is m it is m into m that is m2 and then the final dimensions will be m minus 1 l3 t minus 2 these will be what these will be the dimensions of g so this is the knowledge regarding the universal law of gravitation and we have defined it as you have to remember this is called a universal law why it's called a universal law because it's valid for the universe the value of g is constant and its value is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square f is equal to g g is defined as a force of attraction between two bodies of unit masses separated by a unit distance and these are the this is the dimensional formula for what g which you have to remember and the unit is newton meter square per kg square that can be also derived this is all for today tomorrow we will use another lecture till then allah hafiz